Hello there and welcome and thank you for coming to learn about Forta APs today. My name is Michael Weir. I am the NSC7 Certified Technical Account Manager for Fortinet here at Inga Micro, and I am here to walk you through this today. I've been hearing we've been getting some good traction going on. I want to make sure you're equipped with everything you need to quote these. And But anyway, let's hop right to it. So here are the types of Forta APs. We've got the Universal Series, the Forta APU, we've got the Basic Series, the Forta AP, the Secure Series, Forta APS Series, and the Cloud Series, Forta APC Series. Now, that sounds like, man, why is there four different lines? What's all this going to go on? Well, it's because there's different types of management, too. So you can manage it through infrastructure, which is a Forta WLC wireless controller. You could do it by what they call integrated, which is the controller inside of a Forta gate, or you can do it cloud, which is Forta AP cloud. And each of these things on the bottom of the lines is controlled by different management methods. The Ford APU, the Universal Series, can be controlled through any of the management methods. It's also the only one that can be controlled by a Ford or WLC. So if they need something or for some reason want something that's standalone controller based, that's the only option. Now the regular Ford AP is the one that's quoted the most. It can be controlled by the Ford gate or by the cloud. Controlled by the Forti gate, it has wireless intrusion detection and prevention. Uh, controlled by the cloud, you can get some retail features on it and that kind of thing. Uh, the Secure series, the Ford APS series, can be controlled integrated through the Forti gate or from the cloud. The difference is this can do wireless intrusion detection and prevention straight off the access point itself without having to rely on a Forti gate. Thus, it's a little more expensive because it has a little more memory and some different internals to allow it to do that. And then there's the Ford AP cloud, which predictably is controlled by the cloud. Now you might be looking at this and saying, man, when I put this all together, my mind is blown. Well, it's not actually that bad because all Forda AP's part numbers are formulaic. This is our most frequently quoted AP, the Forda AP221E. It's your basic 2x2 uh, multi-user MIMO AC Wave 2 access point. And you might say, well, did, Mike, did you memorize that? Well, yes, but it's easy to figure out because I can look at the part number and see it says FAP. That means it's a regular Forta AP. This could be the U series, the S series, C series, and so on and so forth. So I know it's a regular Forta AP. Next number two, this tells me it's two spatial streams. Uh, two by two multi-user MIMO could be three by three or four by four. That next two tells me it's dual radio. So we could have two radios or three radios there, a two or a three. Then that last one tells me it's an internal antenna model. There'd be one for internal, three for external, or there's some special ones like twos and fours. These are generally outdoor, ruggedized, that sort of thing. And then the last letter E tells me it's AC wave two. And that could be an E or an F. Now, there is one thing to note. There are some APs that are in the 320 series, which are not AC Wave 2. Please be careful when quoting those. Consult your data sheet. Otherwise, go with the 2 and the 4 series. So, let's take a look at a full part number then. So, this is the Forta AP Universal 231F. That means it's universal series. It can be controlled by anything. It's 2x2, two two, but try radio with internal antennas and Wi-Fi 6 because it's got the 2, the 3, the 1, and the F. All right, let's keep it copacetic, man. We got this all taken care of. Next, let's look at the positioning of these things. So why use a Forta AP? There's a couple of different reasons here, and people will have a variety of these, or they'll just use them because they're familiar with Fortinet, however you look at it. The number one reason people use a Forta AP, usually speaking, is that in the integrated ones have single pane management with Forta gate and Forta switch. Meaning, not that you can manage the AP from Forta switch, but you can manage both Forta gate. Forta gate can manage both Forta switch and Forta AP. Uh, because Forta gates are roughly one third of the security products deployed in the world, or of the firewalls deployed in the world, it's about a one in three chance you're going to have somebody who's going to have a Forta gate as their security device. Right? The secure and integrated lines have wireless intrusion detection and wireless intrusion prevention systems on them. Fortinet officially refers to it as detection. There are some prevention aspects there too. That's why I put in the slashy. Now the thing is they have lots of options for lots of scenarios if you didn't determine by the number of product lines that are there. There are things for pretty much whatever you can choose, whether it be throwing it inside a freezer or putting it inside a small office or putting it on top of an auditorium. We don't have a line of Forta antennas, and yes, that's what they're called. We are dedicated to our nomenclature. They scale from one to thousands per deployment. So even a small Forta gate can control five or ten, and if you go up to big Forta WLCs, they can control up to like, you know ten thousand or more. If we're talking about the VM models, these scale very very far. 
They have zero touch deployment in that you can pre-authorize them by serial number to whatever you're controlling them with. So when they get plugged in, that controller says, yep, I know you use your configuration, go. And they can be used remote. So what exactly does being used remote mean? Well, it means this. Let's say you have a FortiGate and you have your Fort AP in the office that people are using. You have somebody who's going on the road to a hotel or something. You don't want them using insecure hotel Wi-Fi. They can bring their Fort AP with them from site, bring it out, plug it in. That Fort AP, as long as you've got the external interface on the FortiGate set up to be a security fabric link, that Fort AP phones home and creates a secure tunnel back. And it's using the corporate SSID that they're used to, so it's a nice seamless experience for them. You can do a you know full tunnel, split tunnel, whatever it is you want on that. And even more versatile than that, if you want to do a remote Fort AP and set that up, you can have it be brokered by Fort AP Cloud. And uh, the one I pictured, you know, the picture changed. That's the Forta AP C24JE. That is a specialized part number because it follows none of the rules. It's actually a hospitality wall plate AP, but it's also such a form factor you could bring it with you if you wanted to. Got a couple ports, great for the hotel, uh, the hotelers, whatever you want to call them. A couple other random notes. So all Forta APs come with some kind of mount. Uh, some of them, uh, they're all PoE powerable. Some of them still have the ability to do an AC adapter, too. They're in the price list or the one note. Uh, interestingly enough, if you have a FortiGate with integrated Wi Fi, which would be called a Forta Wi Fi, uh, you can still have other Forta APs controlled by it, and it will form a single network. It's not like another brand, it's an M and ends with the Iraqi, that uh, if you have a firewall that has the built in Wi Fi, you can't make it a wireless network by adding more APs. It'll become two networks. Fortinet doesn't have that problem. Last note, because this comes up a disturbing amount, we have a product called Forta Extender. It is a cellular router, not an access point. For some reason, some people think it's a wireless extender, probably because of the name, uh, but it's a cellular router, not anything related to wireless or anything like that. So, very quickly done there. Thanks, everybody. This is Michael Weir, your NSC7 Technical Account Manager for Fortnite here at Inger Micro. See my email there, see my extension there. Feel free to hit me up whenever you have any questions. Other than that, you have yourselves a great day.